There's some diabolical way to get rid of those super heavy, super annoying sumos once and for all. I've got it! I've got the solution to our problem. As you all know, I wrote the book on tyrannical stratagems. Actually, I'm oh. a ghostwriter. And I remember a piece of advice Alexander the Great gave me once for this very situation. It was either divide and conquer, or never invade Asia Minor on an empty stomach. Divide and conquer. That's it. The answer was right under my nose. And may I say what a beautiful nose it is? No, Stinger, you may not. But our mission is clear. First, we have to divide the Sumo's loyalties. Only then can we conquer them. But how do we split them up? Dividing them will be simple. All we need is a friendly character. Someone who oozes avuncular amicability. Someone dripping with paternal pleasantness. Someone really old. <sighs> yes! I'm going to divide the sumos! <laughs> oh, God. Hmm. Hello? Is Kimo in? Sure, I'll get him. Kimo, our sworn enemy, the evil Genghis Fangus, is at the door. Sorry, where are my manners? Please, come in. Hmm, can I help you? Kimo, I am your father! Huh? Sorry, did you say you were Kimo's father? Yes, that's right. I'm Kimo's father. Huh? That's what I thought you said. In truth, that's an unlikely claim. Do you have any proof? Sure I do. I always carry pictures of my little Kimo right next to my heart. Here's me watching Kimo take his very first stop. And this is me teaching Kimo to ride his first yak. <laughs> and this is me at Kimo's graduation from Sumo Academy. Well, I'm convinced. If you're Kimo's father, how come there's no family resemblance? Oh, um, uh, well, uh, well, you see, uh, Kimo takes after his mother. Ah! Oh, woof. She must have been quite a looker. Hmm. How is it I do not remember you being there when I was growing up? Oh, sure you remember me. All right, Kimo. So the important thing to remember is that I am your father. Got that? Hmm. Yes. It is just the ancient poet Matthew said one night when he caught a tiger in his pajamas, what's that tiger doing wearing my pajamas? Now I see where Kimo gets his sense of humor. I do not remember that. Are you indeed sure it happened? Kimo, I am your father, and to question your father is dishonorable. <gasps> Have you forgotten the most important rule of the fact? Never feed Boom after midnight? No. The most important rule of the fat is honor thy father! Uh, hmm. Genghis is a sworn enemy of the super duper sumos. But I cannot refuse a matter of honor. If the flashback is true, and those photographs are real, and I really do take after my mother, then this can mean only one thing! 
Genghis is my father! Uh, uh, oh, come to daddy! <laughs> Do I have to do everything myself around here? Oh. Hello, Bad Ink. How may we dominate you? Miss Mister, it's Genghis. Everything is working exactly the plan. Kimo really believes I'm his father. Excellent. Now you must gain Kimo's affection by doing father and son bonding activities. Bonding? What, using cement and stuff? Oh. Your job is to divide the sumo so that Stinger's mechanical octopus can conquer them. Remember, divide and conquer. Remember? I never forget. I've got a mind like a steel trap. Uh, what were we talking about again? <sighs> Hey, Kimo, my boy. Time for some bonding. <clears throat> Put her right here. Yes, my boy! <gasps> Take a seat. That's my boy! Kimo, my boy. Why don't you get yourself a nice, big, healthy churro, huh? Uh, thank you, Father! Mm, you can still smell the lard. Genghis? Where are you? Dad? Would a large 400-pound sumo wrestler called Kimo Fangus please come to the information booth where his father, Genghis, a 1,000-year-old ghost, is waiting for him? Thank you. Ah. Father! Oh, son. <gasps> ah! That's my boy. Hey, let's watch that tragic love story about the clouds and the sun and that evil high-pressure front that's always getting between them. Puma, that is the weather forecast! Oh, I know. It's just the best. Huh? It's time for that 72-hour cooking show marathon I've been waiting for. Hey, as Kimo's father, I must be shown a certain level of respect around here. That means I get to choose what we watch. Oh, lucky day. Woohoo! The shopping channel is doing a special a ghost whitener. Oh, it keeps your tattered rags and trailing vapors as clean and sparkly as the day you died. Somebody hand me the phone. Gee, Kimo, your dad's a real pain. He's always getting in the way and spoiling our fun and using all the hot water, too. Yeah, and he's a tightwad and greedy, and he used my toothbrush. <laughs> and his taste in music stinks. Mm. What? It's the truth. Hmm. It is dishonorable for you to insult my father. If he is not welcome under this roof, then we shall both leave. Come on, my boy. I've heard enough from these whiners. You and I can stay at my place. Hmm. Well, there it is, my boy. Your homestead. Let me take you on the grand tour. Well, come on. What are you waiting for? Uh, uh, mm, sorry. Genghis! Using only salvage parts from the Mighty Rob Octopus 2000, which the sumo's cruelly smashed, I have created this! The Rob Octopus 2001! His father was like a son to me, so I guess technically this one's like a grandson. But I treat him like a son, and in certain light, he looks like his father. Stinger, huh? I'm sorry to break up this touching family reunion, but Genghis has done his job and divided those stupid, stupid sumos. Now it's time for you to go to work and conquer them. Certainly. Now, my boy, make Granddaddy proud. <laughs> In truth, that monster looks familiar. Yeah, didn't we destroy that thing before? Hmm. 
It seems it is time to destroy it again. Let's sumo size! Wait! Uh, Junior, uh, what is Hinka doing? Um, destroying a giant mechanical octopus. That giant mechanical octopus is part of Daddy's job! Huge, destructive monsters like that put food on our table and a roof above our heads! Look, son, I wasn't going to tell you this until after the fight, but I've got a big surprise for you. In the short time that we've spent together, I've grown extremely fond of you, and I thought it was about time to give you a token of my affection. I'm changing the name of the company to Bad Ink and Son. That is indeed a great honor. Honorable Sumatories, I am sorry, but it would be dishonorable for me to disobey my father's wishes and fight that vicious, destructive mechanical cephalopod. What does that mean? It means you two are on your own. Kimo's with his daddy now. <gasps> The super duper sumos have been divided! Huh? Oh, no. That leaves just the two of us to kick evil mechanical sea monster butt! Let's do it! Oh, oh. Uh, it's like that thing has eight arms or something. Hmm, my fellow Sumatorts are in trouble. I must help them destroy the robotic octopus. Kimo, friends are one thing, but family is another. And blood is thicker than water. Um, and uh, yeah, you are not your big bottom brother's keeper. And they're uh, homies with the hearties, and I honor thy father. <gasps> <sighs> yes, father. Son, you made me so proud. Son, you made me so proud. Now that chemo has gone to work for his father, we are truly one sumo short. What shall we do? We hire ourselves a new sumo. I already placed an ad in this paper. Hmm. 400 pound sumo seeks glazed ham? Oh, no, no, no. That one's just mine. Ours is below that. Do you believe in the virtues of peace, honor, and truth? Do you vow to defend the city from evil? Do you look good in a mawashi? If so, the Super Duper Sumos need you. Hello? Yep. Oh, you saw the ad in the paper. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. You sound perfect. When can you start? Was that someone answering the sumo ad? No, but I think we found ourselves one honey of a glazed ham. You know, Booma, spending more time with you has made me realize how much I miss chemo. Thanks, bro. <sighs> I'd like to welcome you all to perhaps Genghis's most stupid idea to date. The first annual Bad Ink Bring Your Son to Work Day. I'd like to welcome Chemo Fangus, formerly of the Stupid Dupid Sumos. Dr. Stinger's son, Roboctopus 2001, is busy destroying the city, and BS has brought... BS? Who is that old man? You said to bring a son to the meeting. Well, the rental store was all out, and the orphanage wouldn't take a check, so Uncle Cyrus here was the best I could come up with at such short notice. There, there, it's okay. The mean lady won't hurt you. Uh, does anyone have a coloring book? Seeing as my only offspring is the brainchild of utter world domination, I think we should get this meeting started. Genghis? Ladies and gentlemen, and Stinger, I present to you the next step in utter world domination! Oh! Buildings will burn! People will run in terror! Governments will be overturned! Grown men will bark like dogs and hide their heads in shame! In short, I present to you the destruction of Generic City! You are going to destroy Generic City? But that is dishonorable! Quiet, Chemo! Daddy has to work! Not only are we going to destroy Generic City, but we're going to get rid of those two remaining stupid dupid sumos for good. And you're going to do it! Mm, never! But Kimo, 
Destroying the world is what we Fanguses do. Oh, my father did it, and his father before him, and now it's your turn. Do you remember what Daddy told you? Hmm. Honor thy father. So, how about doing this one for your old pops? Hmm? <sighs> yes, father. Isn't it wonderful seeing our boys working together? Hey, there's Kimo! Woo! Hey, Kimo! Hello, fellow sumatories! Hey! Mm. Mm. Squeeze! Gluteus Maximus! Ah! I cannot watch. Go on, son. Destroy the stupid duper sumos and make Daddy proud. Hmm. Do I protect my fellow sumatories, or do I obey Genghis? Do I save my friends, or honor my father? Friends, father. If only Wisdom Son were here, he would know what to do. Huh? Salad bar, ribs. Salad bar, ribs! Hey, I just can't decide! Hmm. That was not exactly the flashback I was hoping for! I will try again! Another flashback! Thank the fat! <laughs> hmm. Buma is entirely dishonorable! And yet, he is also my friend! How can this be so, Wisdom Son? Well, Kimo, sometimes the bond of friendship is more important than questions of honor. I see. <laughs> and exactly when are these times? Well, normally, they involve some kind of giant robot octopus, and Mamu and Boomer will probably need your help. Let me write this down. Hmm. Hmm. <gasps> Giant robot octopus. Buma and Mamu in trouble. I guess this is one of those times. Father, I have a confession to make. I'm going to help my Sumatoi brothers fight that disgraceful monster. I am sorry, but I wanted you to know. Oh, I can't do this anymore. You're such a good kid. I have a confession too, Kimo. When I told you I was your father, I wasn't telling the entire truth. You see, I'm not your father. You are not my father? No, it was just a despicable plan to break you guys up and destroy the city. Hmm. Your lie was most dishonorable, but telling the truth was most honorable. Now I can assault that monster with impunity. Now finish it. Destroy all three stupid Jupiter sumos entirely. Gladly, my queen of dark corporate glory. <laughs> Soy nuts. Junior! <laughs> Not my little Kimo, no! Oh, I can't let that robot octopus destroy him. He's like the 400 pound sumo son I never had. Well, I always say the truth will set you free. And so will this! Uh, nice to have you back, bro. Now let's slam that cephalopod. Time to sumo size!
robot octopus really went to pieces. <laughs> 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 The mighty Roboctopus 2010! He's like a grandson to me, or at least a great grandnephew or a distant cousin. Ah, the memories. This is when Kimo and I played catch. That boy's gonna be quite a pitcher someday. And this is us at the zoo. And here is little Kimo with his friends. Why me? B.S. I need a favor. Is there a boomer here? Uh, yeah, that's me. Son, come to daddy! Super duper sumos! Super duper sumos! Hey, guys! Super duper sumos! Super duper sumos! Super duper sumo, super duper sumo, super duper sumo, they got go!